microphone. Oh, just, okay. Just hanging out inside with my umbrella, just pretending I was forecasting. You've been practicing for this moment for years. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I'm right. ready to go. All right. So decrease as that rain and freezing rain turns to snow due to that cooler air mass that is moving our way. It'll be a good time to get outside and enjoy that sunny weather before we see some storms rolling in next week. We have that cold relaxing this weekend. We're going to have those temperatures bump to 40 degree temperatures, and we're going to be seeing a taste of those temperatures as we head into next week. Looking at our current satellite and radar right now, clouds are thickening as we head into this afternoon. Groundhog Day, that's really the big thing happening Sunday. No one cares, no about, one cares the Super about football. No one cares about football. I mean, it's the Groundhog's Day. We don't want to steal the day from the groundhog. No, we'll we know be, why everybody pays attention. Yeah, we'll be watching for that. We'll watch that. What we're going to be looking at as we head into next week, we're talking about seeing some unsettled weather as we head into later next week, starting around Tuesday. So this is Monday, about 3 o'clock p.m. We're seeing this low pressure system located over the Ohio Valley, and this low pressure system is going to be pushing into the northeast, and that's going to be causing a lot of precipitation to move in as we head into Tuesday. So as this low pressure system pushes forward, we're going to be seeing another low pressure system develop and start to push into the northeast as well and this low pressure system could cause some snowfall as well as some rainfall depending Cindy sent me this photo this was last Friday with the caption too cold for playtime and she was definitely right we felt a lot of cold temperatures last week into last weekend but some good news for you dog walkers out there tomorrow and for the rest of tomorrow as those snow showers are going to be continuing but we will not be seeing much snow accumulation there as most of the snowfall will dry out before it reaches the ground we can eat the products the best it's, type of are, product I know these are the Kettle. degrees out there right now, but let's look at that wind chill up there. Zero degree wind chills, and that's what you're going to be feeling like. So these wind chills a bit closer. A nice day for Chowderfest, right? You nice and Allison Finch will be there. We will be there. It'll be okay. a good time enjoying some chowder. We went to the chili bowl last. I think it was last yeah, weekend. Yeah, you like chili, right? I'm oh, seeing yes. a theme I'm, here. <laughs> I like anything. We're out of time. Have a great day. We'll see you in 25. Have a great weekend. Troy and nine degrees in Schenectady, and that's going to be what our current temperatures are going to feel like with these breezy northwest winds. So it's Valentine's Day memo for we sure. Did. You red. got the hearts, but I got oh, the hearts. red too. I so love we both it. got a little bit of something. And if someone's seeing some blue skies, so we're going to be getting a lot of sunshine today. However, that sunshine is not going to be providing much warmth for us as we head into this afternoon. Current temperature, Jerry, right now we're kind of transitioning to that period of rain switching over to snowfall. So this is up, but further tomorrow, bumping up just a little bit warmer 25 degrees mostly sunny and cool. these angels did you see that wow i did not actually Me either but we'll have to watch it got to watch the old one first yeah, yeah. right <laughs> were you born then mm, no, okay not, but my mom talks about it so. oh nice <laughs> one last look at our forecast for today morning as the yankees take on the red Sox. partly cloudy and warm 81 degrees, but it is going to be coming muggier throughout the evening. Make sure you're hydrated. Bring a hat throughout the day. Tonight, low of 70. So if you're looking for something to do, Saratoga Chowder Fest, I know will be there. It'll be nice to sample. Vote for your favorite chowders, and it'll be a good time. Back to you. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Nice to see you. Buongiorno. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And how's it Sunday? Going to be a gorgeous all day. If we take a look over in Connecticut, 87 degrees on Sunday. Looks like that's going to be the day when you want to hit the beach because we do have those storms rolling in Saturday. Yeah. But, um, you know, <laughs> that's what it's called. Okay, so now we have two wings, I'm not two doing thighs, so hot over here. two legs. That's good. You want to try a, a, a garlic? Good? Yeah. I'm going to need a palate cleanser to change I'm it. Gonna, I like the ranch usually, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Branch, two thumbs up. You don't do a good job. We'll see you back at four. Morning. I saw it a few feel nice. flakes coming down. A few flakes, but it was comfortable. It yeah. wasn't wasn't too much out there. <laughs> Looking outside, let's look at our New York State Mesonet webcam out in Scattercoke right now. As we can see, we did have some snow on the ground before, before this morning, but there were a lot of flurries moving into our area earlier this morning, and we can kind of see a light dusting along the ground right now. Current temperatures in our region: it is 33 degrees at the airport, 32 degrees over in Eagle Eagle Mills, and if we head up just a little bit further north, we can see temperatures 29 degrees in Ticonderoga, as well as 27 degrees in Scruton Lake and 26 degrees in North Creek. So let's talk about those temperatures. Today is the first day of February, so let's talk about some January record temperatures. So for this month of January, 31.8 degrees. That is over 9 degrees above average for the month of January, where we were able to reach 67 degrees twice for this month. This is making us the sixth warmest January on record.
which is a little absurd when we think about our January temperatures. First morning live Doppler radar scanning the region. It's becoming a little bit more drier out there, but we do see we had these snow showers moving in earlier this morning, and we will continue to see these pop up showers as we head into later today as well as into tomorrow. Right now we can see it's pretty cloudy out there. Their cloud cover is going to be continuing for the majority of the weekend, so we will not be seeing much sun as we head into this weekend. Again, these little pop up showers are going to be continuing to pop up as we head into tomorrow evening, where the snow showers will start to be coming, moving in a little bit more Sunday afternoon. Super Bowl forecast. Let's take a look. Hard Rock Stadium, Miami. Let's see what weather they're looking at for this weekend for Super Bowl Sunday. It's going to be clear out there, 69 degrees. So we're not exactly going to get that here in Albany. So we can pretend we're there in spirit. 38 degrees out there today. It's mostly cloudy. Again, that chance of snow as well as rain showers. And that's going to be continuing for the most part of tomorrow, where we'll still have those clouds as well as those chance of snow and rain. Taking a look at the next couple of days on our seven day planner, Groundhog Day and Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. Not sure what you're more excited about, but Tuesday and Monday, we're going to be seeing those 40 degree temperatures before becoming unsettled next week, where we see another chance for some precipitation moving in.